Come with us now on a journey through time and space. To the world of the magical life. Oh, what, this? Yeah, this is uh, only the most valuable jazz record in existence. Uh, Voodoo Scat by Howling Jimmy Jefferson. Why is it in its own house? It's hermetically sealed, Vince, in air from the 1950s. I've been saving up for 20 years for this baby, and it's finally arrived. Go on, then, put it on. <laughs> you don't play records like this, Vince. You'll widen the grooves, lower the value. No, no, this is the only one of its kind, handmade by Howling Jimmy himself. Who? Howling Jimmy Jefferson, the inventor of jazz scat singing. Ah, oh, scat, out of all the aspects of jazz, scat has got to be the worst, the main offender. You don't know what it is, do you? Not really, but when it comes on, I'll go red. Yeah. Let me demonstrate to you a little bit of the power of jazz scat singing. <clears throat> oh, I've got to get away from you, you're a freak. I can feel myself going red. <laughs> Pick that up, would you? Pick what up? Pick up the paper clip. It's just a paper clip. Paper clips don't live on the floor, they live in the paper clip tray. Blue tack lives in the blue tack garden. Sell a tape upon the tape tree. The seller tape tree. Now, the stickier the tape, the higher the branch. It's a simple system. Everything has its own place in Stationery Village. All change, please. Paper clip castle. You are so anal, Howard. Less of the back chat, pick up the clip. I don't pick stuff up, I knock stuff down. Where's all this coming from, Vince? It's coming from deep within. I'm a punk now. You're a punk? Is that what that's about? Yeah, check out my outfit. In fact, check this out. It is genius. Is that one of my safety pins? Because if it is, it should be securely tucked away in safety pin cottage. It's not one of yours, all right? I got this at Camden. Huh. This is the original pin. Sid Vicious for through his nose. <laughs> it's got all stuff on it. I know, it's chock full of punk diseases. Ooh, loads of hepatitis C on it. Ooh. Don't do that. Ooh. Oi, back off. <laughs> Imagine if that went into your jazz bones. <laughs> you would crumble like Rivita. I don't understand you. One minute you're a new raver, the next minute you're a mod. You're always flicking about on the breeze of fashion. Yeah, well, I'm a punk now, all right. Oh, really? Yeah, and I'm angry. Oh, yeah, what are you angry about? About stuff. What stuff? All the stuff. All the stuff. That's going on in the world. Yeah, like what? Government. Ooh. Climate change. Climate change? It's getting hot, how? Do you not notice? That's making you angry, why? Because it makes your hair a bit more difficult to straighten? That, and it's a bit clammy. I'm angrier than you. I know you are, but you turn it in on yourself, don't you? That's your problem. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I've seen you in the hallway when you think no one's looking, giving yourself a Chinese burn, huh? I project my anger out in the form of poetry. So you're a punk poet as well, are you? Yeah, I'm lead singer of Terminal Margaret. Never heard of you. Yeah, well, you will do in about two days, and they're coming around now. So don't be showing them stationary village now you section it all off, because that is well creepy. Organised stationery is the backbone of any good business, Vince. And while we're on the subject, Where's Pritt stick number three? I put that in my holster this morning. All right, call your boots. I borrowed it. I'll give it back to you. Oh, I see. You're a punk, so now you're glue sniffing. Well done. Not glue sniffing. Making a scrapbook of my favourite punks. Check it out. Hmm? It's actually quite nice. I know, you should think about doing a jazz one. I might do. <laughs> anyway, look, my mates are going to be at any second, so you should probably nick off round the back. I'm not nipping off round the back. They see you, they are going to kick off. They lip off to me, I'll glue their mouth shut. I'm the sheriff of Stationary Village. 